Good evening, everybody. This is Matt Mullenwick. I apologize for sounding a little funny. I actually had uh, five teeth removed on Monday, but 2.5 is trucking along. I wanted to give you all a brief demo of some of the things we have in the new dashboard for you. Um, you've all seen the screenshots, but I sort of wanted to show a dashboard in action on live blog. So this is actually mine. You can see in the right now section it shows you some stats about, you know, how many post categories, etc. you have. If you have a kismet, it shows you how many spams it's blocked. Recent comments, comments awaiting moderation, and coming links. I actually have uh, the new WordPress.com stats plugin, which includes a dashboard widget. So here are, you know, little vignettes of my stats coming in right there on my dashboard and of course the WordPress news that you'd expect. What's cool about this is that it's all editable, so if I prefer, say, Technorati to Google Blog Search, I can edit it right here. But let's go ahead and hop on over to the new post page. The first thing you'll notice is that it's a lot lighter, a lot cleaner. We don't, we're not trying to fit everything onto one page anymore. Uh, we just try to get out of your way and really allow you to write. Um, so let me go ahead and start. I'll call this 2.5 demo post. And uh, let me demonstrate the gallery feature. So I'll say here are some pictures of my friends. Actually, right here, if I were going to be writing a lot, I could toggle full screen mode, which would take the WYSIWYG to full screen, allow me just just focus on the writing with no distractions. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and upload some pictures. I have uh, so you'll see the choose files. It looks a lot like a regular file dialog upload, except what you'll notice here is that um, I can select more than one file by using control click or just dragging and dropping a few things. So let me go ahead and grab a few here and click open. It will upload each one. I can see the progress as it goes, and then it'll create both thumbnails and intermediate versions for all of the posts. And of course, if I wanted to, I could edit the metadata about any of these and cool stuff like that. Now, if I hop on over to the gallery here, there'll be a handy button for me that says insert gallery into the post. All this does is puts in a little short code, uh, basically bracket gallery, um, which I will demonstrate to you in a second. Let's go ahead and we can add some tags here. Um, of course, there's auto suggest in the new tagging interface. I can choose a tagging two tags, three tags, Dr. Seuss style. I can delete one of these. Let's go ahead and put a category on here. Let's say the gallery category. And um, I'm also going to put a more tag in here, just because of the way I've done my templates. And let's go ahead and publish. It's late, so hopefully no one will notice. <laughs> all right, the publishing is all finished. It gives me a handy link to view the post. So let's open that in a new tab, and um, we'll see actually what's happened is on the Promlink page here, it's done a gallery of thumbnails of everything I uploaded. And if I were to click on one of these, it would take me to what's technically a sub post um, with, you know, the full image and some gallery navigation over here. And of course, each one can have some comments. Uh, and if you, you can't see the URL right now, but it's actually, it's slash, you know, 2.5 demo post slashed, and then the slug of the image. Um, so that's the new image feature. Uh, I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys will be too.